show. I think everybody out there either has some sort of allergy or uh, has someone in their family who is sneezing away. Yeah, whether it's severe or just seasonal allergies that you get, uh, we are joined by ER physician and author, of course, Daniel Callan. Today we're talking about allergies with you, uh, Dr. Daniel. How are things? Good. 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 Do you get allergies? Do you get hay fever or anything? No, well, I once did to hornets. I broke out, just swelled up like the Michelin tire. And, that can uh, be a dangerous one too, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, it freaked it. It was scary to see my, my mom, the doctor, kind of freaking get out. Can these things be one time, because you always hear about people that had severe allergies when they were a kid to, to bees, to whatever. Do you grow out of stuff like that? You can, but the problem is they can often get worse, right? It often mm -hmm. is sort of incremental. The more you're exposed to something, the worse your next reaction is, and that's the big fear. And can you develop allergies as you get older if you've Absolutely. never had allergies yes. in the past? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm say, because I've got itchy watery eyes. Say, yeah. <laughs> it seems like... I don't yeah. know whether they're becoming more prevalent or more severe. So let's talk about, uh, are there two basic kinds of allergies? Like, Well, I mean, there's, there's uh, allergies cover a huge umbrella of, you know, they're all basically immune reaction where your own immune system overreacts to either something minor or something harmless mm -hmm. and sort of, uh, but, so all allergies basically fall under that umbrella. But the there's same all thing. different So types. whether it's a food allergy or yeah. whether it's an airborne, you know, inhaled yeah. thing, they're all basically the same yeah, they're category. Yeah, they're a foreign protein that kind of triggers this uh, hyperimmune response. Is there anything for the people that don't like to take allergy pills for the kind of seasonal allergies we have here with the sneezing, the hay fever and all that stuff? Is there something natural you can take or is it just something you just have to bear I, with? I don't, I don't like natural stuff. I, <laughs> I, I stick mainly with drugs. Hey, no, don't I, you I, have I, that I'm tattooed an, on your back somewhere? I'm an emergency doctor and so uh, <laughs> therefore I don't see a lot of the, you know, the seasonal yeah. allergy stuff which <laughs> makes me a fine expert to be on talking about this, but uh, you know, I see the more severe spectrum. But sure, I mean, you know, but one of the things that I wanted to hammer home about this is prevention and precaution. Whether you have mild allergies or severe allergies is the key, you know, to be prepared. And let's talk know. about prevention first. If you're one that has uh, has to deal with that sort of stuff, what can you do to prevent allergies? Well, I think you can limit your exposure, you know, and the thing, like food allergies are becoming so common and peanut allergies and shellfish allergies can be so dangerous. And, you know, we see all the time people rushed into emergency who were, sh you know, swore they'd ordered the same thing 20 times from the same mm -hmm. whatever ethnic restaurant or, or yeah. Western restaurant, and this time they almost died from it. But Because sometimes it takes such a minimal amount of cross-contamination, so, you know, if just because you don't order something with peanuts, if something's being cooked with peanut oil and it touches your food, boom. It can be bad. So well, and I know with my brother, we're going to talk about my son in a little bit because he has very severe allergies. He has anaphylaxis. But my brother, uh, all of a sudden, uh, you know, he'd been all right with shellfish, been all right with shellfish. And then once he ate it and boom, he had this major, major uh, reaction. Uh, how do you know? I mean, are there right. precursors to that? Is there any way to well, know? Well, it whether? tends to run in families, right? So, you know, like you've discovered, if it's in one member of your family, you're more likely. But no, often there's nothing that'll, that'll set you off. No, but, you know, there's like discovering my yeah. bee sting allergy was purely... Well, that's going to give people a ton of comfort. Yeah, which I know. Is, which is great. Right. You know, I'm here to you know you're people. safe. Or are you? But and it's, but it's rare. The good news is it's rare the first time you react right. to have the yeah. severe yeah. life threat. It does happen, especially with kids. Yeah. But it's more common that you build up from, from more money. Now, are allergies like peanut allergies becoming more prevalent? Yeah. You briefly mentioned that because, I mean, I, we all remember when we were kids, you didn't have to worry yeah. about peanut butter sandwiches at school. But now, are we being alarmist or is it true that more and more children are having uh, the kind of serious allergies that end up having people anaphylactic and in the ER? Yeah. I think it definitely, they don't seem to know why, but, but they are. Isn't that interesting? And I th people don't give it enough credit. You know, a figure I was looking at yesterday, just penicillin allergies alone are responsible for something like a thousand deaths in North America every year, which I had no idea. Yeah, so when you wow. extrapolate that to peanuts, yeah. shellfish, all yeah, those I other mean, things. Yeah, it really is. And it's, for us, it's, it's really tragic because it's such a, you know, there's so many deaths we can't prevent, but yeah. that allergic ones, we, you know, we can. Okay, the incident that I had with anaphylaxis was with my son. He was uh, just over a year old. Uh, he had a little bit of an egg and all hell broke loose. So one of the things that we've sort of learned is is the introduction. And we thought a year was all right. We'd read literature that said a year was fine time to try them with an egg, everything else. 
How, how as if, if they're new parents watching, how do you introduce these different, especially super allergen foods? Peanuts, into eggs. Your, yeah, it, how do you introduce them into your kids' lives, and, and at what stage? How do you well, find out that? You know, I, st I mean, I think you know, there's tons of information about, like they say nuts, I think it's a three to four years before you should introduce. Eggs is a little bit earlier, but I think if there's, like in your family's case, where you know somebody has a severe allergy to egg, I think you should consult the doctor before you try it and mm -hmm. probably delay it to at least two years. Yeah. And, uh, and do it in a very, I, yeah. I mean, when you do it, and don't do it in the middle of the wilderness. Yeah, I was going to say, which is what I did. Lesson so, learned. Okay. Uh, but the I mean, kid's okay, by yeah, the way. You just sort of do it in, yeah. a, in a controlled environment. Yeah. And, and if things start spinning out of control, uh, you know, and, and you see hives and all these things, what's the first thing that you, that you should be doing if you're a parent or if you're an adult and you start feeling these reactions and your yeah. system is starting to ramp up on you? What do you do? Well, I think if you're feeling really sick or, or somebody looks, you know, like I mean, where you discover it, just your description of what your son went through is so scary. Yeah. I think if you, you can tell often if it's severe right away and then you should either call 911 or get yourself to emergency. Or, I mean, that's, that needs immediate response. If it's milder and you're developing a rash, and, and especially if you're comfortable and had it before, um, antihistamines are really our first line of treatment. So, you know, like Benadryl, Claritin, Reactin, and they do work, you know. Yeah. It's just they don't work fast enough for the life-threatening At what point should you whether it's uh, a child or an adult, uh, go to the ER if you've never experienced this before. Before you hear this noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's a good time. Um, you know, I think if there's any symptoms that involve your breathing, you know, so if there's anything, if you feel that tightness in the throat that people often experience, if Is you start to get wheezy, yeah. you know, anything like that, or if you feel lightheaded and dizzy, those are, are, are serious signs and you need to be seen right away. Yeah, I think the one thing I would probably recommend after my experience to, to parents, especially with new kids, is, is have some Benelin, some children's Benelin in your home. Uh, so at least you have that first little line of defense that can buy you a little more time yeah. to, to get things over. And obviously EpiPens, uh, yeah. what, is, what is epinephrine? Epinephrine, it's adrenaline. It's, it's by far the best antidote we have to, and, it, and almost every allergy responds to it. And that's, you know, that's the tragedy. So many of these people who die from bee stings and food exposure would be saved with a simple shot. And they're, I mean, you know, people say I've never done a shot It's not something if you before. have hay fever, you want to yeah, say, no, <laughs> well, I'm stuffy today. I mean, Pulp it, Fiction style, right? Yeah. It doesn't have any long-term effects. Yeah. Uh, if, no. if you apply it, it sort of goes... No, there, I mean, you know, and most people, we're talking about young, healthy people, obviously older people, especially people with heart conditions, there's right. theoretical risk. But the advantages are so huge, and, and it is really foolproof. They're simple auto-injectors to give, even in a panicky moment, they're easy to use. That's how they're designed, so mm -hmm. they're, not, yeah. they're not complicated. It's not yeah, a 20 Yeah, they are very <laughs> idiot-proof in a stressful not situation. Like assembling a gas barbecue when your throat's closed. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it really is... Damn, where use. did I put that Allen key? God, oh no. no, no. But it's, I mean, it's straightforward, and that saves lives. And I, I can't encourage people enough, if you have any kind of thing that you judge anything more than a mild allergy, if you travel, especially if you travel, yeah. you should have an EpiPen Be prepared for you. it, for sure. It's such a simple step. And Very talk nice. to your doctor uh, if you have any questions, of course, about allergies, especially when it comes to kids, uh, so you don't find yourself My being... Kid heliported yeah yeah <laughs> he enjoyed the helicopter he ride, got a helicopter so, so ride. You can like, uh by the way i love the graphic that we use yeah. for this that <laughs> is Just one delicious. of the more beautiful things we've really ever is. put on our show thank daniel you, pleasure Kelly. as always thanks thank you so much we're going to take a quick break and when we return we're going to be talking about thrift shop fashionistas with the ywca right after this stay tuned